Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Tastyworks and TradeStation. First I'm going to talk about the fees, then account opening, if they have any withdrawal fee or also inactivity fee, then I will talk about the markets and products like what they actually offer, design of applications and what I actually recommend on uh, both of these platforms to do, and then like some kind of summary and security of both of these platforms. So let's just start. First. Both of these platforms have free ETF and stock trading. This is really good. But TradeStation, if you would go to pricing and you would see uh, like the small letters here, let me show you. Commission free for equities trades applies only to the first 10,000 shares per trade. For each order of more than 10,000 shares, a 0, 0, uh, 0.005 per share charge will be assessed. So when you're going to access the 10,000 shares. So this is what you need to know that if you'd like to buy some penny stocks, trade station, uh, like if you go beyond 10,000, you're going to pay a fee. Now let's go to options and futures. Tastyworks is completely dominating the options field. Why? The first thing is that uh -oh, they have 0.25 fee on per contract on uh, option but trade station has 0 0.60 so this is like the first huge uh, difference the second difference is that their day trading app and also like the uh, web trading and also desktop trading is mainly focused on futures and options so if you want to trade um, options really good and you want to go deep into the options i would recommend going with a tasty works also another thing is that if you want to also trade options you can choose robin hood because it's for free but they just like also just recommendation but robin hood lacks the depth the depth of uh like trading you're not going to have a lot of stuff it's just like simple like for for kids if you want to play a big league you can go with the tasty works and really 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 go deep uh, with the whole market. So this is my recommendation. Now let's just go uh, to some fees and some withdrawal and inactivity fee. Both of these platforms doesn't have any, don't have any inactivity fee, but both of these platforms have withdrawal fee. TradeStation have a withdrawal fee uh, like for free, the first one. So first one in a month is going to be free, but second is going to be $10, third is going to be Ten dollars and yada yada. Tastyworks, on the other hand, has forty-five or twenty-five. It depends. Uh, withdrawal fee. So this is what you need to keep in mind. Now, account opening on both of these platforms is really easy. When we go to the, let me show you the markets and products. This is also really important. So Tastyworks, you can actually buy a stock and ETF. But it's like secondary field that they offer. They are mainly focused on options and futures. Now, TradeStation offers everything. So if you would like to, I don't know, invest to, let me show you. When you go to markets and products, you get more than 13,000 ETFs here, more than 78 stock markets. And why they offer so much? Because TradeStation is directly linked to the interactive brokers, which is parent company, and they are huge on the whole world. They're like a huge broker and they access all the markets through the interactive brokers. Now, Tastyworks, if you would go to markets and products, they don't actually offer that much, right? So this is the first thing that I recommended. If you want to buy stocks and ETF, what I would do, that I would go with the TradeStation, I would go with the Robinhood or VBull, I wouldn't actually go with the Tastyworks. Options, futures, and huge day trading, go with the Tastyworks. Now, when we go to customer service, so, what is really go good about customer service and Tastyworks, and they just like my thoughts, is that when you're gonna have some kind of problem, you can actually call them and ask them about trading to help you some analyze some stuff and help you with uh, like trading. TradeStation has phone support, fast response time, but also the live chat doesn't work. So in my opinion, Tastyworks is completely dominating because they, they are really helpful if you want to learn how to better trade. Now, safety. Uh, Trade Tastyworks has been here for a long time. I don't know if you know, but uh, like one of the founders, I think of Tastyworks, like created Ameritrade. Th that's what I think, by the way. Yes, or, or something like that. I heard. Now, Trade Station is also really safe only because uh, they have the parent com company, Interactive Brokers. So your funds will be safe with a Trade Station. And this is pretty much it, guys. So I don't know what else should I tell you. Also that on TradeStation, on account opening, you have two options to start with a minimum deposit of 2000 or any amount that's like minimum 500 bucks. 
So yeah, thank you very much, everybody. If you have any questions, ask it down below in comments. I'll be really happy to help you. I hope this video helped you to clarify some things. And yeah, what I definitely recommend is test both applications if you like it and let me know. Have a great day and goodbye.